second type of chromatography that we learn about is partition chromatography. So the partition chromatography, as the name suggests, is to do with the fact that there is a partitioning of the components in between the stationary and the mobile phase. So paper chromatography is actually an example of partition chromatography. In this case, the stationary phase is a paper strip which contains water trapped in it. So generally, the normal paper, excuse me, the normal paper in your notebooks is not the one which is used. However, we have a special type of paper that is used to basically act as the stationary face. The solvent, on the other hand, acts as the mobile face. So in this case, in this type of chromatography, uh, first of all, a line is drawn with a pencil at the bottom and then the various, uh, the mixture is basically spotted on the same line. And then uh, this is then dried up with a, basically a hair dryer and this is the, the paper is then suspended. Generally, we have two types of chromatography in this. In uh, one of them is uh, where the solvent moves upwards. The other is when the solvent moves downwards. Generally, when the solvent move up, moves upwards, it is done so by the capillary action. And uh, this kind of chromatography is more clearer compared to the case where the movement of the solvent is downwards. So the the solvent is basically going to be a suitable mixture which can be used to separate the components of the mixture that we want to basically view. So because of the different speed of movements, you'll have the different mixtures, I mean different components of the mixtures getting separated. So this uh, paper, this paper will be called a chromatogram after it has been developed and we can actually see the components uh, at various heights. For example, in this case, this particular component has moved up till here and this is approximately up till here. So the movement of the various um, components is to various extent based on its partitioning. And basically, this makes sure that, uh, you know, we can, the partitioning, the principle, the basic principle of partition chromatography is the differential part partitioning of components of a mixture. So this makes sure that the components of the mixture are separated and like thin layer, thin layer chromatography, the, the, the components which are not colored might not be visible to us. Instead, we will use UV light to view these components. The various other chromatographic techniques that I use like HPLC, gas chromatography, each with their own principle and each more interesting as well. So chromatography as such can be used either for identification, like in the case of thin layer chromatography and paper, or it can used to be, I mean, it can be used for the actual separation of the various components of a mixture. So in case, uh, in, in, in our reaction, let's assume in the reaction, we have two, three different products formed. We can use the thin layer chromatographic technique to separate these components. With that, we're done with the various methods of purification of organic compounds. In the next video, we are going to be discussing the qualitative analysis of organic compounds. Do check it out.